Where are they now? One of the most famous high school prospects in recent memory who went viral for throwing down highlight reel dunks and for his classic matchup against Julian Newman, Kyrie Walker. It's safe to say most of us are familiar with Kyrie's legendary matchup against Julian Newman at the MSH TV camp in 2016. The video from the camp that was uploaded to YouTube accumulated just over 13 million views. For a while, Kyrie was one of the biggest names in all of high school basketball, but over time, he received less and less media coverage, which led to many people forgetting about him. So in this video, I'll be giving you a much needed update on the basketball career and life of Kyrie Walker since he was a freshman in high school. Because what's happened to him these past few years has been very intriguing. Kyrie averaged 21 points and 7 rebounds as a freshman at Morrow Catholic High School in 2016. At this point, it became clear that Kyrie was one of the top recruits in his class. So Kyrie decided to transfer to a school more known for their basketball prowess for his sophomore year, Hillcrest Prep in Phoenix. At Hillcrest, Kyrie continued to show that he is one of the best players in the class of 20. 2020, and he put up some pretty crazy numbers during his time there. As a sophomore, Kyrie averaged 25 and 9 a night, and he one-upped himself the following year by putting up 30 and 11 in his junior year. That is an unreal stat line. By this point, Kyrie had dropped to a four-star recruit, but watching his highlights, Kyrie was looking like a pro on the court. He was a six foot six combo guard who made scoring just look so easy. Kyrie had tons of D1 offers and originally committed to Arizona State in the summer after his sophomore year, but this was short-lived as he would end up decommitting around a year later. Things definitely got untraditional at this point in Kyrie's high school career because during his senior year, he left Hillcrest Prep in October of 2019 and was quote unquote weighing his options. All of a sudden, we didn't really hear from Kyrie Walker for months. One of the top basketball prospects in the world went completely silent. That was until April of 2020 when he told the world his decision to forego both college and a year of pro basketball. This was because Kyrie decided to join a 12-month training program known as Chameleon BX, which was run by Frank Matrasano, aka Hell's Trainer. For more context, Frank had already been working with NBA players like Blake Griffin and Shabazz Muhammad for over a decade, and his training is no joke. He really pushes his clients to the absolute limit and stresses the importance of training the mental side just as much as the physical side. Again, Kyrie was in Frank's program for 12 months, so he completed the training just two months before the 2021 NBA draft. While all this preparation definitely helped Kyrie grow as a player, the world didn't see him playing competitive basketball for over a year, which I believe is the biggest reason he went undrafted. But this wasn't the end for Kyrie's basketball career post high school. He would end up playing for the Washington Wizards G League affiliate during the 2021-22 season after a successful tryout with the team. And Kyrie was actually a solid role player in his first year of professional basketball. He averaged 9 points on 14 minutes played a game. But sadly, after his first season in the G League, he was traded to the Rio Grande Valley Vipers and then cut by the team shortly after. As a result, Kyrie took his talents overseas to the Greek A2 Basket League the following season to play for a team called Aos Evosmu. Now this isn't a super noted professional league, but Kyrie made the best of this opportunity by playing very well during his time there. In the 18 games he made appearances in, he averaged 18 points a night, which is actually the highest points per game average out of anyone on his team. Now the 2022-23 season for the Greek A2 Basket League ended in the middle of May, but it didn't take Kyrie long to find himself in a different professional league. Because just a few weeks ago, Kyrie joined the Scarborough Shooting Stars of the Canadian Elite Basketball League, which is where he is playing as we speak. In the four games Kyrie has played with the Shooting Stars, he has averaged 15 points and 5 rebounds proving again that he will succeed with whatever opportunity is granted to him. If there is one thing I have learned after diving deep into Kyrie Walker's basketball career, it's that he's a high-level pro hooper who deserves to be given a chance in a more competitive league. Kyrie is a 6'7", 22-year-old combo guard with an NBA-ready body who has proved to be a solid contributor on multiple professional teams. Recently, Kyrie uploaded a YouTube video to his own channel where he went into detail about his basketball journey so far, all of the doubt he has received over the years, and his future goals. This video showed me that Kyrie is hungry to prove all the people that don't believe in him wrong. Having the skill level and size of a pro basketball player is one thing, but having an unteachable drive to be the best version of yourself in the sport is another. So who knows, maybe we will see Kyrie Walker in a G League jersey again, or even on an NBA roster. That is something that wouldn't surprise me one bit. If you enjoyed this Where Are They Now video, make sure to check out the one we did on Chase Adams. Another example of someone who received a lot of media attention during the earlier years of his basketball career, but then slowly faded out of the spotlight during late high school and in college. A lot has happened to Chase Adams these past few years, so make sure to check that video out. As always, thank you guys so much for the constant support. Make sure to hit that subscribe and notification button if you enjoyed the video.